What's up, Lorehounds? It's Coop here inside Zombie Studios. I'm here with Jared Gerritsen. So you guys actually just launched Blacklight Retribution. How's it going? It's going great. It's going really, really good. We're, we're really, really proud of the, the launch and the game, really. So have you had a lot of more, now that you guys are marketing, you just have a smorgasbord of players coming in? Yeah, we've we've been seeing a massive, massive amount. I mean, it's really, it's one of those games that now people are seeing the, the ads, the banners, like, oh, it's now out. Now, now we're going to start playing it. And a lot of people wait until games go to release to really get into it because, you know, betas, the resets happen right. and all that. So we've seen a massive influx of players. So it's really cool. So how, how, how many maps did you end up launching with? Uh, we launched with six, but we're going to come out with a new map every month. Uh, we're about to launch actually two maps this month for, for release. Um, released one of our new weapons. We're going to be following up all the new weapons. It's kind of cool because at, at PAX we're showing months and months of new content, which is really kind of cool. We've got a couple new maps that we're showing. We've got all the new weapons that are going to be coming out in the next few months, all the new hero characters. So everyone that, that came really is getting a, a piece of, of what's to come. Uh, and what's to happen with the, the game and the franchise. So previously we talked about uh, adding game modes as you know, one of your big things. Where are we in that process? We're coming out with uh, our newest game mode, Net Warfare. We've got two new game modes that will be coming out in the next few months and then we're going to start expanding into more, more heavy, more, more game modes. We want to start getting into more uh, PvE area, which is going to be really kind of cool. As far as the maps are concerned, are you guys going to start opening them up? Maybe, you know, because some of them have been kind of claustrophobic or tight. Are we going to start seeing more maybe sniper-friendly maps? Yes, uh, that's actually one of our one of the one of the map focuses that we have is a sniper uh, focused map. We released a new map uh, vortex that's actually quite large um, that we're very happy with, and we're all, we're also starting to talk about getting more players into the into the maps. So we want to start testing 32 player maps pretty soon as well. One of my questions: I actually love sniping, and uh, I also love taunting. Really hard to taunt when you're sniping from so far away. <laughs> can we do anything with that so I can still teabag someone from a distance? Well, if uh, right now when you kill someone, uh, the camera actually goes to where the player is. So that's actually the whole idea behind our taunting system. We have a very robust next generation taunt system. So uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Spent a lot of time in that taunt system. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's got a smart uh, smart reticle on it. It's just it's it's very very cutting edge taunts. How how has the uh, servers upheld you know this massive influx of players? What well, we've we've been having we've been having issues, but it's because we weren't expecting this many players, and so now we're dialing it in. It's going to be. In, we are doing updates all the time. I mean, the team's not done. We're we're moving forward, and it's pretty awesome. It's it's yes, we're released, but no, we're not done. So we're getting everything hammered on that. Yeah, having a scaling up problem is not one. To, you know, it's a good one to have. Right. Yeah. No, it's it's terrific actually. So, uh, do we have any concrete plans of when specific game modes are going to come out yet? Right now, we're looking at monthly for a lot of new content. Uh, we're, we, have, we have about six months worth of content already built out. Uh, so we're gonna just put it out as, as the demand's there. So, you know, it's the big balance that we're, that we're trying to find of when new content comes out, when new maps come out, when new guns come out, when new gameplay systems come out. So that's kind of like this big balance. It's the first time for a lot of us to be doing this and we're really excited about it. You guys really embracing the free-to-play model here. It's new for you guys. Um, have you guys been trying to do anything you know, put your own twist on it. Yeah, we are. We really want to make the game balanced for non-players or for non-payers, because um, that's really that's going to be the, the the guys that are playing on the servers. We don't want them to get hammered by guys that are paying money. So the big thing is balance. Um, right now, we 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 make it so not that it's usually only cosmetic stuff that we keep away for for pay, um, which is really not seen that much. You see a lot of people actually paying to win. That's the one thing that we're really trying to balance is not allow that. Not only that, but you're you're able to buy items with in-game uh, currency, which isn't seen that much in free-to-plays, especially in the shooters. Being an FPS, there's a, a huge draw for community guilds and stuff like that, and also for esports. Uh, are you guys actively trying to get into that sector now that you're launched? Yeah, we really want to focus on esports. Uh, we've got uh, a bunch of modes that we're working on for that, for heavier team play, but also. Uh, just different different systems to help the esports thing. We really want to start uh, allowing that and helping tournaments out and doing as much as we can for the esports. 
Blacklight Retribution just out last Tuesday or this Tuesday. Yeah. So check it out, download it, free to play FPS. It's it's awesome. Go get it. Thanks. Thank you.